what is going on everybody we are at the very first Bob Evans it's in the Rio Grande Rio Grande Ohio I've never been here and we are actually right here up on the old <laughs> the old wood homestead built in 1820 it's really peaceful and the country is so beautiful out here Mom and Jack down on the farm. We've got three awesome locations. Stay tuned today. We're going to be visiting a Galapolis, Galley Police, Ohio, Gallic. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to ask how to pronounce that. And then we're going to check out an abandoned rail bed. And I think one bridge that we're going to see is turned into a bike trail, and another bridge was, uh, is still got rails on it hopefully so stay tuned let's check out bob evans national historic marker the homestead built in 1820 Wood with an addition completed in 1822 by his son. Continue to the other side if anybody wants to pause and read the history behind this beautiful house. Wow, purchased the farm in 1953 to their children, proceeding into the 50s and into 1971. Well, we're waiting for our name to be called. Just at a snack shack. We got a 15 minute wait, it is beautiful country. So pretty. All the farm equipment. All right, F, we were searching and searching at this graveyard and we finally found Bob Evans' grave tombstone. And let me tell you, it took us forever to find this tombstone. Let's check this out. Mom's already up there today. Okay. Beautiful. Ah. We went through some struggle to find them. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! You guys. It wasn't easy. Uh, well, now that we know where it's at, it's easy. Rest in peace, Jewel Bob. Partners, friends, visionaries. <gasps> Look at the view, the tremendous view he's got. This is beautiful. Jack and Mom at Bob Evans' grave. <laughs> hey, we waited a good minute to get that meal today, and it was so good. It filled us up. Some old pictures. Look at that. His wife. Together in peace. Partners, friends, visionaries. Oh, oh yeah. Here too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Same age as our grandma was. Robert L. Evans, paying homage. You know, I was over here and I noticed there's a old railroad trestle. See those three stumps out in the river out there? It's real hard from here, but those three stumps look like an old abandoned railroad line. 
railroad line that was probably where the trestle used to cross and there's another one further up the river way down the river about five seven miles down the river there's another railroad bridge but that's for a future episode today we are going to follow along that abandoned line there's a part of the bike trail where there's two walkable amazing bridges i'm going to try to at least walk to one of the two but after that we are going to vinton ohio that is so cool let me tell you the view is tremendous beautiful out here today oh wow check out this grave next to bob evans it's really fancy George Edward III, big truck, truck driver. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> okay, you guys ready to go see uh, more railroad, railroad bridges? <laughs> Bob Evans down on the farm. Thanks guys, thank you. All is calm. Okay, welcome to the OO McIntyre Park District Holzer Trail. This used to be the railroad. We are in the outskirts of Gallipolis, Gallipolis, Ohio. It's kind of close to Portsmouth where I went to that one railroad couple days back so this is I was connected to that railroad it's just further down the line there should be a bridge down here let's boogie and see if it's there there's two bridges but today I'm gonna make it to just one I think because I want to make it to this other bridge in Vinton Ohio Wow, check this out. There's an old railroad signal marker, and that's for where we parked, where you got to park for here. Was where the crossing used to be. Look at that. That is old, guys. Old fellas. <laughs> this bridge is down here somewhere. It's quite a walk. We go on these big adventures. It's quite the distance. Going the distance. Check this old railroad bridge out right here. This is old, this is kind of like the one, it's a little side, has a little side walking, like the one that I saw in the city. On the one side, it's made of wood. Oh, that's pretty old. Hey, this is Common Nancy Child Bridge. Yeah? There's it right here. Hmm. Yeah, I see that. Wow. It's actually made of uh, old timber. All right, here we go. Coming up on this old bridge, old railroad bridge. This park is really cool. It's not like other bike trails because it's really far out in the country to get here. My mom is way back there already. I like this, I got an opportunity to be here some peaceful time all to myself. Look at this beauty. Looks just like the one from the city that I walked on the other day, guys. Look at that, but it's missing its little walk cross things. See, they didn't build it where you can walk it. Wonderful. Look at this beauty. Fascinating. Whoa. Got your double pin, ribbing, no graffiti. And look at that, there's actually wood pylons down there to support it. This is old, guys. Here comes mom. So I decided to come on down. It's a little bit rough coming through all this, but oh, look at this. It's beautiful, guys. Old Railroad Bridge. Let's come down a little bit further. 
Looks like it might have been graffiti at one time. Wow. Made it to a bike trail. Hey, look, the tires are still below. That's really neat. Still has all the ties connected to it. Really cool. Glad they kept the ties under it underneath. Really neat. Check that out. We got these pilings right there. Wood piling supportings. Isn't that it's really something. Wow. Mom's up on top. Hi mom! <laughs> Let's come down here. This is way out in the country. Get my pants on. You should start. Okay, I'll catch up with you. Mom's gonna head back early. Beautiful out here. Tremendous view. Well, that was interesting. I like this bridge. All right, we're gonna cruise on to the next bridge. Might be a possibility there might be still some, uh, this old bridge that we're going to next it hasn't been transformed into a bike trail yet, so. Cool. All right. I gotta get back up and there's thorns. All sorts of riffraff. Gotta dodge bullets. Good through here. Look at these thorns. See that? So, getting up and down from this one's a little hard. Get from over here somewhere. Gotta climb up the old gobbing. And there you have it. All oh, bike trail now. All right, made it across. Check that bridge right off the box. Check it off the bucket list. We made it. See you further more down the rail, further down the track. Jack. Hmm, there's deer out there. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Back to the uh, <laughs> mom. This trestle is old. It's made out of wood. I can't really get down there and get a good shot of it. Where no one has gone before. We went furthermore down the abandoned rail that we were on, the bike trail, and we found this really cool bridge. Check this out. Oh, it's a hidden gem. Vinton, Ohio. Look at this beauty of a trestle. Bridge, railroad bridge. You can call it a trestle. Look at this. Oh. Magnificent. It still has ties. It looks like they took out the rails. But we're gonna go up there and check that out. Look at the old graffiti right there. Wow. Log and that's old graffiti. Let's 
Let's go up. Yeah, see the rails are gone. Oh, look at this. I gotta make this quick if I wanna. Wow. Careful walking. Look at this. Wow. This is something. I'm gonna walk the whole thing, fellas. <laughs> really cool. There's a lot of cool graffiti to see. I gotta kinda stay down. There's a house over there. So I'm gonna duck my way through. Taking it slow and easy. Watch my step. There's water below. Check that out. Let's stop and See the graffiti. Explosives, RD, smiley face. There we go, made it across. Wow, it's got some water down below. Look at that. The beauty. I hope that if they do turn this into a bike trail that they put more like, well, they might as well make boards across the whole thing now with the rails gone. This is where it's gonna end up going someday and I'm here before they did it, which is really great. I love walking on ties. It goes on for a bit, quite a bit. What a beauty. <laughs> Ultra cool. Well, those really neat side off platforms, in case the train's coming, it's where you gotta go to. I would not step out on that. You see it's falling apart a bit. Almost to the end, guys. <clears throat> Couple interesting things to see over here. Some weird noise going on. Let's make this quick. <laughs> wow, she's really old. Wow. Well, it gets into some private property over there, so decided to kind of walk back this way. Wish I can get further down there, but I'm really reaching so you guys can see as much as you can. <laughs> okay, I was literally on the ties taking that picture. Check this out, I got in this little space. <laughs> Coolest places to end up inside of an old railroad bridge. Stay tuned. Hey, let's get some scopes from up here. It's pretty wild. Let's take a look, see. Wow. Welcome to this old bridge. Look at that beautiful trussing design. It's so nice to be here. Woo! Woo! Woo hoo! <laughs> Try to see if I can get down there. I don't. Uh, there is a part where you can get to the other side below it. Whew. Okay, I'll get across here in a minute. Wow, history, Ryan. It's old. It's explosive. Swana and some of the graffiti is kind of rude, but you know, comes with its own kind of character. 
Okay, I'm almost back to the other side. That old flower. Oh five, seven ten oh five. Hello, hello. Oh, huh. Heard my echo for a second. Oh five. Here's another date. Oh one. Four twenty. Nine fifteen. Oh five. Eric, Linda. Good work, guys. Getting up here. It's kind of tough to get up here. All right. <laughs> Furthermore, Jack, down the track. So that way it goes into private property. That's private property, too. So I don't want to spend too much time here. Let's get to the bottom before a cruiser comes by. Thanks, old bridge. See you furthermore down the line. Down at the bottom of this bridge is a old burned out trailer. Wow. You see a lot of that around these abandoned railroad lines. Hillbilly Junction. There's the bridge. Let's see if I can go this way a little bit. Very peaceful. Look at this rock facing. It's beautiful in every way. I love railroad bridges like this. I mean, even if they built like a separate trail to the side and kept this just the way it is, but I think that rail trails should put the boards underneath uh, between the ties so people can still see what it's like to walk on the ties. Um, if you can, like, still somehow make the ties visible above, that would be even better as a part of it. I don't know. Wow. It's beautiful out here. I'm way up here on these blocks right here, just so you can see that. I've been looking for artifacts and relics on the ground. Not much on this trip lately. Sometimes filming it keeps hard. It gets hard to see something right here. Ah, it's just a bottle bottom. Um, it's like old shoes right here. It's an old pair of shoes right there. See that? Crazy. Awesome bridge. Woo! There's something hanging from that tree. That's kind of funky, isn't it? Hmm. Some kind of belt of some kind. <laughs> Look at all the connections. So the uh, the interesting thing I noticed about this bridge is it's got a bit of a land thing right here just before this pillar. So the pillar doesn't have any driftwood embutments or <laughs> driftwood collection right here. It's actually all collected on the other side of this land embutment here. This land sort of curved out right there. It comes down and there's a little bit of decay right there. And that may have been from past times when 
wood gathered up in that spot. But she's well maintained and fits to still be a bridge for another hundred years. Thank you, bridge. Cool old bridge, and the water is beautiful. <laughs> Bob Evans was good. That was all right. There was a lot of people at his cemetery looking for his grave. It's so hard to find. My mom was saying this is way more interesting than a cemetery. <laughs> I agree. I hope Ohio preserves this bridge and keeps it just like this for us to see. Just like that up there. It was so peaceful. Even if it's just this bridge, it's, it would be a great idea. For, let everyone go up there and enjoy it the way it is. If you do come out here, be real careful. Be safe. Don't recommend you do go on top of this bridge. It's scary. <laughs> and it goes on for a long way. On the other side, it gets so close to this guy who's farming in his field. That equipment noise you hear, he's actually working on his field right there. If I went any further, he would have saw me. It's all right. You know, I'm just taking photographs. Look at this old wheel, cinder block. Light damage, not too bad. Um, color, it was black. Um, let me see. I can kind of tell. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right there. You can see a little bit of the black that this bridge was painted at one time black. Most of your railroad bridges were black, green, or blue. And this one was black in the beginning. When you coat this with paint, you'll go on another 50 years. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Let's enjoy this water one more time together because I know you're not here and it's hard to get out here. Scenic Road, Vinton, Ohio. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Cinder blocks on the water. Lots of garbage here and there. <laughs> Woohoo! <-hoo. laughs> okay. Wow. Thanks for joining me. Um, <laughs> more to see, more to come. More to explore. Make the good things happen. Keep going to work. And stay positive. For the more Jack.